tying uh, a fly with a new product uh, called the fish skull. It's a milled aluminum head that you actually can stick on your fly for weight at the end of the tying process. We're going to tie a modified version of a tried and true uh, uh, West Coast salmon fly um, that was called the, the Lord Nelson originally and we're going to tie an improved version or just a slightly different version. So we're starting with some double extra strong Lagerton thread in white. We're going to wrap that all the way back to the bend and we are going to snip off our excess. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some white bucktail. We want to keep this relatively sparse. Anchovies uh, in this size range are going to be relatively small, but one of the things that is really highly noticeable on them is their gill plates. And that's where the fish skull comes in. So I'm going to have about two and a half inches of white bucktail. Get that trimmed down so it'll tie in nice and clean. On top of that, we're going to take some you uh, excuse me some Mirage Flashaboo. Tie that directly on. I want that to extend past the tail approximately a half inch. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, control of that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add just a little tiny pink highlight. We're talking you know, ten strands of hot pink. Bucktail. Measure that size out. I'll advance my thread just a little bit. Lay that on top. Kind of pre-measure it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some Kingfisher Blue Bucktail. We're using this as the do little dorsal veiling. As a little topper, I've been liking this uh, herring back from Crystal, uh, Crystal Flash herring back. Um, I believe it too is a UV product. Again, I'm going to add some cool highlight to the process. Cap it, give that little nice sparkle that bait fish have. Now you've staggered uh, all of that on purpose to give some width or? Um, to tie in so we don't have all that mass kind of in one mm. place mm -hmm. um, and you know what happens with bucktails it just keeps on building up on top of itself so if you move each one approximately you know an eighth of an inch forward it, it makes it so that your your profile is a little bit better um, it's also probably going to help with fouling to some degree mm -hmm. so um, essentially the fly is tied uh, here and what I'll do is I'll, I'll take my whip finisher and uh, I will just go ahead and finish off there. So I've got this fish skull, and like I said, it's a milled piece of aluminum. It's got recessed eyes on it. It slips right over the top. And we can jam that in that position by just taking our thread, just making a few wraps to kind of get that into place, trim off our excess again. in your pack of fish skulls you it comes with a, a little bit of uh, strip of eyes that are going to go into that recess port. Um, we'll take some Zapagap. I like the brush variety for this particular application. Just 
make a little tiny touch with that. The stringers off there. Set up the other side, same deal. And then I'll just take a little bit of Zappa Gap there to finish it off, put a drop back behind and one forward. And there you have a completed Emperor Nelson. It's one of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.